So why doesn't God just come down to earth and just take away all the evil right now? Why doesn't he just come and pluck up all the evil people? Proverbs 27.1 Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. So you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The worst sinners in the world have turned around and been the best Christians. And then the best Christians and most devout, devout Christians have become the worst sinners. You don't know what's going to happen. It's like Matthew 13, 24, the parable of the wheats and the tares. Another terrible put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them into bundles, and to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. So you can look at that as the second coming. So every man has to walk his path. Again, you don't know what's going to bring. You may not be able to reach out and save everybody. But a man has to walk his path. And all you can do is pray for people sometimes and continue to set that example. Because you never know what the Lord has intended for them. They have to walk their path. Certain things may have to happen in their life. Some people have to hit rock bottom. And rock bottom can look completely different for different people. But God has a purpose. If God were to come right now and just take up all the evil people away that he considered evil that did not have faith in Christ. Because through you have to go through Christ to get to the Father. If he just came and gathered everybody up right now, he might gather up and accidentally pluck up some of the wheat along with the tares. So you never know. Everyone has to walk their path because everyone can change. Saul became Paul, the worst persecutor of Christians. Um, you never know. Like me, I was an alcoholic. I was a horrible person. And then I said, oh yeah, I got into Christianity and got baptized. And then I fell off during COVID and did just awful things. And then now I'm back. And I'm trying to save, you know, my family, save my soul, and try to spread the word how I can. So you never know what the Lord has planned for people. Sometimes people got to walk their path. But if the Lord came and just picked up all the terrors right now, he might have taken you also. God bless.